This audiobook is for educational purposes and is for personal use only. The Ancient Secret of the Flower of Life, Volume 1 by Dronvelo Melchizedek. Acknowledgements. There are so many beings in the hundreds who have helped bring this work to completion. I can't name them all, but I feel a need to recognize a few. First of all, the two angels who entered my life long ago and who have lovingly guided my life, you are most honored. Thoth, the ascended master from Atlantis, Egypt and Greece, has given me a great deal of the information in this book. My family, my wife Claudette and my children, who have been my greatest love and inspiration in life. The 200 facilitators teaching this work of the flower of life in 33 countries, who have given me invaluable feedback, support and love that has kept me strong. The thousands of students who have written loving letters telling how this work has changed their lives, this has given me strength to continue. Livia Cherish who put this work into book form from the video format, and Margaret Pinion, whose fine editing ability allows this book to read so smoothly. Tim Staus, who created about half the computer graphics, and Michael Tyree, who created the other half, they have made it possible to understand what was being said. And Owen Swanson, the owner of Light Technology Publishing, who had the faith in me to publish this work. To the rest of you who are too numerous to name, I thank you all from my heart with the prayer that this work will actually help people understand who they really are so that together we can create a more loving world and perhaps even a more loving universe. Thank you, dear ones. Preface Only one spirit. Long before Sumeria existed, before Egypt had built Saqqara, before the Indus Valley nourished, spirit lived in human bodies dancing in high culture. The Sphinx knows the truth. We are much more than we know. We have forgotten. The flower of life was and is known by all life. All life, not only here but everywhere, knew it was the creation pattern, the way in, the way out. Spirit created us in this image. You know this is true, it is written in your body, in all your bodies. Long ago we fell from a very high state of consciousness, and the memories are just now beginning to emerge. The birth of our new slash old consciousness here on earth will change us forever and return us to the awareness that there is truly only one spirit. What you're about to read is a journey of my life through this reality, how I learned about great spirit and about the relationships that each of us have with all life everywhere. I see great spirit in the eyes of everyone and I know that he slash she is within you. You already hold within your deepest being all the information I will be sharing with you. When you first read it, it may seem like something you've never heard before, but it isn't. This is ancient information. You can remember things that are deep inside you, and it's my hope that this book will trigger these things so you can remember who you are, why you came here, and what your purpose is for being here on earth. It is my prayer that this book will become a blessing in your life and give you a new awakening about yourself and something about you that is very, very old. Thank you for sharing this journey with me. I love you deeply, for in truth we are old friends. We are one. Dronvalo. Introduction. Part of my purpose in presenting this work is to assist people to be aware of certain events that have happened on this planet or are presently happening or are about to happen, events that are radically affecting our consciousness and the way we're living today. By understanding our present situation, we can open to the possibility of a new consciousness, a new humanity emerging on earth. In addition, perhaps, my dearest purpose is to inspire you to remember who you really are and give you the courage to bring your gift to this world. For God has given each one of us a unique talent which, when truly lived, changes the physical world into a world of pure light. I'll also be giving mathematical and scientific evidence to show how we got here, as spiritual beings in a physical world, in order to convince the left brain analytical part of us that there is only one consciousness and one God, and that we are all part of that oneness. This is important, for it brings both sides of the brain into balance. 
this balance opens the pineal gland and allows the prana, the life force energy, to enter the innermost part of our physical being. Then and only then is the body of light called the Merkaba possible. However, please understand that the evidence I originally learned this information from is in itself not important. The information could in most cases be completely changed to different information without affecting the outcome. In addition, I made many mistakes because I am now human. What is most interesting to me is that every time I made a mistake, it led into a deeper understanding of the reality and a higher truth. So I say to you, if you find an error, look deeper. If you get hung up on the information by overestimating its value, you will totally miss the point of the work. What I have just said is paramount to understanding this work. I'll also be giving my personal experiences, many of which are, I admit, outrageous by the ordinary world's standards. Perhaps they are not so outrageous by the old world's standards, but it is you who must decide if they are true or are just stories or if it even matters. Listen deeply with your heart, for your heart always knows the truth. Then I intend to share with you, as much as I can in the second volume, a specific breathing technique that will help you return to the vastly higher state of consciousness from which we all came. It is the remembrance of the breath connected to the light body of the Merkaba. This is one of the primary purposes of this work. At this point a short story of how this book came about is in order. You will read about the angels, so I will not begin there, but rather with the later events. In 1985 the angels asked me to begin teaching the meditation of the Merkaba. I first learned it in 1971 and had been practicing it ever since, but I did not want to become a teacher. My life was easy and fulfilled. Basically, I was comfortable and didn't want to work so hard. The angels said that when someone is given spiritual knowledge, they must share it. They said it was a law of creation. Knowing they were right, I opened my first class to the public in the spring of 1985. By 1991 my workshops were filled and overflowing, with hundreds of people on the waiting list. I didn't know how to reach everyone who wanted this information. In fact, I could not. So in 1992 I made a decision to release a video of one of my workshops and let it go out to the world. Within less than a year it was exploding in sales, but there was one big problem. Most of the people who were watching the videos could not really understand what was presented because it was outside the context and content of their spiritual understanding. I gave a lecture to 90 people in Washington state, all of whom had seen the videotapes but had never been to one of my live workshops. It was there that I realized that only about 15% of the people actually knew how to live the meditation by using only the instructions on the videotapes. It was not working. 85% were confused and unclear about the instructions. Immediately I took the videotapes off the market. This, however, did not stop the video from continuing to be sold. People wanted the information, so they began to copy the existing tapes and give, sell or lease them to people worldwide. By 1993, it has been estimated that there were approximately 100,000 sets of these tapes in the world. A decision was made. It was determined that the only way we could be responsible with this information was to have a trained person in the room when someone watched the videotapes. Trained means that we had carefully instructed a person to know and live the Merkaba. That person could then orally teach another. This is how the Flower of Life Facilitator Program was born. There are now over 200 trained facilitators in at least 33 countries. And the system has worked very well. Now things are changing again. People are beginning to understand higher consciousness and its value and concepts. It is now time to release this book to the general public, which is now ready, we feel. A book has the advantage that people can take more time to study the drawings and photos carefully at leisure. And it will also have current updated information such as follows. From our experience, we believe it is a worldwide emerging culture. It is a culture that deeply believes in God, family, children, spirit, 
Mother Earth and a healthy environment, femininity, honesty, meditation, life on other planets and the unity of all life everywhere. The members of this new culture believe, according to the study, that they are few and scattered. The survey revealed, however, to everyone's complete surprise, that they are one in every four adults in America, an amazing 44 million adults strong. Something huge is happening here. Now that the money movers are aware of this enormous new market, you bet things will change. Everything from movie and TV content to the use of energy to the foods we eat and much more will be affected. Our very interpretation of the reality may even eventually change. You are not alone, and it will not take long now for this fact to be apparent to everyone. Ever since the angels first appeared in 1971, I have been following their guidance. This is still true today. It was the angels who gave me the meditation of the Merkaba, and it is the meditation that is important here, not the information that is presented. The information is used just to bring us to a point of clarity so we can enter into a particular state of consciousness. Understand that as I received the scientific information in the early years from 1971 to about 1985, I thought it was for my own personal growth. When I would read a scientific paper or magazine, I would discard it, not realizing that in the future I would have to prove what I was saying. Most of the articles have been located, but not all. Yet this information needs to go out. You, the reader, have strongly requested it. Therefore, wherever I can I will document my statements, but some proofs are lost, at least for the moment. Also, part of the information is from non-scientific sources such as angels or interdimensional communications. We understand that, straight science needs to be separated from a source who is considered psychic. Scientists are concerned about their credibility. As a side note, I would like to comment that this is similar to a male saying to a female that her feelings are not valid and that only logic is true or valid, that logic must be followed. Naturally, she knows another way, it is the way of life itself. It flows. It has no, male logic, but it is equally true. I believe in both, in balance. If you can conceive of a person using both science and psychic abilities together to explore the reality, you have come to the right place. Whenever possible I will differentiate between the two types of sources so that you are clear. This means that you must go within yourself to see if this information is true within your world. If something does not feel right, then discard it and go on. If it feels right, then live it and see if it is really true. But it is my understanding that the mind will never really know the reality until it has joined with the heart. Male and female complete each other. When you read this work you have two choices, you can come from your left brain, your male side, and take notes and carefully see the logic in each step, or you can come from your right brain, your female side, just let go and don't think, feel, Watch it like a movie, expanded, not contracted. Either way will work. It is your choice. Finally, as I prepared this book, I had to make another decision. Should the final stages of the meditation, the Merkaba itself, be released? I still feel that an oral teacher is best. Would you jump to the final stages of Tibetan Buddhism after reading one book? What has been decided is that everything will be given here up to the time of the 1993 video, with the precaution that you carefully entered the Merkar bar and still seek out a flower of life facilitator. That information will be given at the end of the second volume. Much has been learned after and beyond these writings that can only be given orally and experientially. The reason I am giving out the full information is that there are now at least seven other authors who have reprinted this work in one form or another. Some have taken it word for word, some have paraphrased me, and some have used my artwork and sacred geometry drawings. Some have asked and some have not. But the end result is that the information is out. Much of it has been distorted and sometimes it is just plain not true. Please know that it is not to protect myself, 
but to be responsible for the integrity of the work. This information belongs to the universe, not me. It is only the purity of the information that I am concerned with, and your clear understanding of it. The exact instructions for the meditation are on the internet, www.floweroflife.com, but of course not the hidden knowledge. That is experiential. You must live it. There is other information on the net that states it is coming from me when it is not. There is also information out about the flower of life that is simply wrong or out of date. Hopefully, this work will make clear what has been veiled or distorted. I understand that these people were coming from their hearts, looking for the truth, but it is still my responsibility to you. Therefore, in order to be clear and set the record straight, I am writing this book for all of you who wish to truly understand and know the truth. In love and service, Dronvelo Melchizedek. Update, the times they are a changing for sure. According to Dow Jones Company, incorporated in their magazine American Demographics, February 1997, a 10 year scientific study has revealed that a brand new culture is emerging in America and the Western world at this moment. Some have called this new culture the New Age, but it has had other names, depending on the country.